Hey, everybody, excited that you have joined us. And I do want to introduce, I'm excited to introduce to you my guest today. I'm catching up with Dr. Kimber Hanchi Ogden and her son, Seth. Good morning. Thank you for joining me. Good morning, Janet. It's so good to see you and good to be back. Oh, yes, absolutely. It's been a while uh, since uh, you've been on. And I and through the year, I'll be doing some catching up with so uh, some former guests. So I'm just uh, glad that you could be with me today. Dr. Kimber Hanchi Ogden is a senior pastor, motivational speaker, author and owner of Restoring the Soul Christian Counseling Ministry. Her son, Seth, is a TBI, a traumatic brain injury warrior and advocate, special Olympian gold medalist in powerlifting, and a social media influencer. Wow. All right. Uh, and if you will, um, Kimber, if you, you could just maybe for some people who might not have seen the last broadcast we did, it's been a while, uh, just sort of briefly give a, a, an overview of um, what happened uh, to okay. Seth. Okay. Uh, in 2011, September 28th, Seth was training for a triathlon. He was 17 years old at that time, full-time youth pastor in college to be a nurse. And uh, he was struck from behind by an 81-year-old woman in a van. She hit him through him 160 plus feet, which is over half a football field. He landed on the highway and died at the scene twice. Um, he acquired a severe traumatic brain injury. We were told by the medical experts when he woke up from the coma that he would be perpetually vegetative and would always require 24 seven care. He was paralyzed right side. He has apraxia and aphasia. Mm. He knows he wants to say he cannot fully execute it, but it's in there. Um, so that affects all communication um, on every level. And mm. he is um, a walking, talking miracle running miracle oh absolutely and uh so yeah there's there's more to that story and we yeah. have our book out but we also have uh, the espn video story is linked at the top and pinned at the top of our TikTok uh page as well as the team seth foundation.org um yeah. page as well so you can go and and be inspired today if you need to be inspired or you're going through something. That looks Absolutely. Good. Yes, 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 yes. I encourage you to go to the site and um, just le learn more about this uh, incredible story. All right. Uh, so since we last talked, I know that you all have been busy. So kind of uh, catch us up. Okay. Okay. Um, Gosh, we're we're working really hard to get more awareness for brain injury. And mm -hmm. uh, since this book came out, which was right over a year ago, and uh, it's called Push Through It, the Seth Hanchi story, mm -hmm. and it is how to bring purpose to your pain. And I fully believe because I can testify that um, there is purpose in your pain and the greater your pain, the greater your purpose. Mm -hmm. And so Seth did represent the whole state of Louisiana. And um, he, I mean, it is an amazing story, not because I'm the mom and got the front row seat to see all of it and witness it, but also because I have watched God turn something so tragic into something so incredibly beautiful. Yes. And um, I live with a miracle. And the most amazing part of that is watching somebody who could be so bitter at God, give him praise every day, all day. And God has truly used this horrific thing mm. to uh, not only bring awareness to brain injury, but to lead people to the cross because of Seth's inspiring attitude. And, you know, he gets frustrated because he's not a robot. Um, but but to see what God can do through him and his attitude, his 
resilience and perseverance on the days that he just feels like I can't fight anymore. I'm weary, but he gets up and his mantra is um, quitting mm -hmm. lasts forever. Pain lasts for a moment. So push through it. Yes. And he yes. continues to do that as well. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so go watch that there. And Miss Janet, there's actually a really special, like a two minute video on there of him meeting the lady who is yes. five years, nine months later. And yeah, he played that video the last time you were, yeah. you were on Al. Powerful. Yeah. Powerful. So Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Well, now tell us a little bit about um, um, what you're thinking about and praying about in the works uh, uh, right now. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about that. I am looking at uh, Seth's TikTok following and social media following is so it's growing. It is ridiculous. We're like right at a million followers on just TikTok alone. <laughs> And um, yeah, it's, it's wild, but um, that's, a that's a God thing. Yeah, it really, it really is because it's the way God has used that, those silly videos um, to bring people like that are really going through and struggling and they're finding yes. God through yeah. Yeah. just watching him and going, I don't know what it is about him, but whatever he has that he's gone through that valley of the shadow of death and is still walking through it on most days that whatever it is, it's real. It's real. And I want it. And so for anybody that thinks that they're, they can't, um, or they're not able to, to witness or to just lead someone to the cross, your life leads, your life speaks and Seth is living proof that your life can speak when your words can't really say, what you really want to say. Mm -hmm. But so, yes, we are looking at taking that because there's so many people who want more of his story and to watch more of him uh, living out his daily routine of life, which is always interesting. But <laughs> challenges that come with uh, having a disability, whether it is a neurological disability like a brain injury or the apraxia and aphasia, which is communication. Right in general that um, people that have disabilities still want independence. They still want to work. Absolutely. Um, you know, have their own life, so to speak, that doesn't be, it's not defined or confined within the parameters of their disability. And they want to be in a relationship. And there are, mm -hmm. are challenges, as we know, anybody that has ever been in a relationship or that is <laughs> And we know That's there's true. challenges, but when you put a disability on top of that, it's it's no longer just a challenge. It's like going through the um, you know the whatever the the parameters of the maze and stuff that we navigate through. It gets so much more complex and so much more frustrating mm. than with a disability. And so we're mm. looking at doing a. Uh, something a little bit different and brave and bold, but we're wanting to follow more and um, even perhaps get a few more people with disability to come in on this, mm. but just follow along and to um, do something as far as the, uh, like a reality show kind of thing. Uh -huh. and, yeah. So that's really something we're looking forward to. It's something we're really excited about. Yes. Um, we, we don't know how it's going to play out yet. It's in the works and um, just looking for that, you know, somebody who wants to either shoot a documentary or maybe get a tour bus and go, you know, city to city and just bring awareness to more people that have a brain injury or, or disability on that level and just yeah. people meet real people that have struggles, but inspire. I can see this right. helping so many people and, and uh, giving them encouragement and inspiration. Yes. Oh, we're going to look forward to that. Going to look yeah. forward to that. We're excited about that. Yes, yes. Now, uh, I, I mentioned Seth that you uh, a powerlifting special Olympian. Let me let me show everybody a picture here if I can. There you are. Wow. Oh, the strength. 
Gracious me. All right. Ah, oh, that is awesome. That's awesome. Um, yeah. And bef before, uh, Seth, when you were on before, you were talking about, you know, you, you, you died twice at the scene, but you mentioned um, that you went to heaven or you saw heaven. Miss Janet, we, we went yeah. like really detailed yeah. in the book and talked oh. about that. Um, yeah. It's a really sweet thing when Seth meets somebody who passes away. And one of those people that passed away during COVID actually was um, a, my niece who's very, very close to Seth, only like five days difference in age, wow. very close. And she passed away, had actually just given birth through emergency C-section. And um, when you experience a tragic loss that's so unexpected, a lot of times we can become so bitter and, and you know, yeah. just up there. And yeah. um, Seth has given so many people a peace that we can't know or understand mm -hmm. because he and he has a, a more descriptive way because of the personal experience he had mm -hmm. with meeting Christ um mm. with walking through heaven the way it looked the way it felt yes and yes that kind of thing is so so beautiful because we experience a loss when we that person leaves this side of the world and and we can't see them or hug them or touch them or hear their voice right. anymore and so we deal with that and it's such a, a loss because of their absence but when you hear what Seth describes of what his experience was and how that is where we're all going to ultimately be and want to be because mm. we're in the presence of Jesus. We're, you know, here we worship and we feel his presence, but yeah. they're tangible. You can put your hands on his feet. You can yes. feel start hug yeah. you and hold you. Mm. And Seth did not want to come back, but... The Lord told him he had a great purpose yet to fulfill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He needs you here, Seth. <laughs> he still needs you here. <laughs> oh, that is just so powerful and, and so beautiful. So I encourage you to to get the book and, and read it. Um, I certainly want to get a copy and and uh, and read all about that. Uh, thank you so very much. I want to put up some information. Uh, here are some, uh, some websites and uh, where you can go and connect with Kimber or Seth and also their book, Push Through It. The Seth Hanchi Story is available on Amazon and Kindle, iBooks, Instagram Sparks and Barnes and Noble. Wow, that is just wonderful. Thank you all so very much for joining me today and uh, for for updating. It's been a, a joy catching up with you both. And uh, so we'll be, uh, I'm sure we'll be doing it again because uh, I know you're going to be doing some wonderful things. And uh, so down the road, we'll 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 do this again but um god be with you and god bless you and uh i know that he has still got more things for you both to do thank you ma'am thank you thank you all for watching and uh, i'd like to uh, mention uh, abundant tv network is just a great network for you and your family remember have faith and look up, friends, where our help comes from. Bye. God bless.